Okay, uh, Dragon Buster 2, take 3. Uh, let's go. This is Dragon Buster 2 for the Nintendo Famicom. Uh, it never came to the NES. It stayed in Japan with its English title. Um, Dragon Buster 1 was, or just Dragon Buster, was an arcade game, and, and that also got an NES slash Famicom port. I never liked the art style in Dragon Buster, the first Dragon Buster. That one is in Namco Museum Archives Volume 1, uh, which I have not got. Um, this ROM comes from Namco Museum Volume 2, the Steam version, and I extracted it, I think, with Game Extraction Toolbox. Uh, and I'm running it in the NES emulator called Messen. So people are living with terror, there's a dragon, uh, there's a sword, a legend, a fairy, there's a youth, his name is Carl. And he's an archer, but he wants to go get this sword, and maybe he's tired of being an archer. I made that joke in the beginning recording that I just had to throw away because my arcade stick was not being detected by Messin for some reason, but now it is, so that's good. Get that dragon, Clovis! Wait, no, that's not Clovis, that's Carl! Who was Clovis? I don't know, I don't remember. Okay. The arrows are spelling the title in Japanese or something. So, uh... Oh, is that telling us the treasures? There's a tomahawk in the tree? Well... So you've got this weird looking sprite, you're making these weird... Loopy footstep noises. Uh, let's go to this church slash castle thing? Slash graveyard? And you have to hit the select button to go in. And, which is weird. Seems weird to me anyway. So, it's this isometric game. The first Dragon Buster is a side-scrolling, like, dungeon crawler. With a really kind of gross graphical style. This has a much cuter graphical style. And it's an isometric view, which is pretty neat. It's pretty well done. And I love how the floor you're walking on is just, like, skulls. Like, half-buried skulls. That's so gruesome. I mean, it looks like this cute game, and then you're like, wait a second, I'm, I'm walking on, like, just... just half-buried skulls. So, uh, a what? Oh, that thing was crawling away under the quiver, and I got hurt trying to pick it up because the monster was under it. So I have 19 arrows now. I love this little bloopy doopy doopy footstep sound. What is this thing, anyway? Just walking on hundreds and thousands of skulls. Oh! Yeah, you got... Oh, did I hurt myself? The arrows just bounce... Oh, come on! What? I can't... I can't pick it up? Oh, I have to hit button A to pick it up. Okay. So can I... I can't go through this door, though. Oh, I hit select and it left. Oh. Did I get whatever I was supposed to get? I don't know. I guess I beat them. <laughs> that was weird. Dooty dooty doot. Man, there's just tons of arrows in these dungeons. Just oh, oh that. It doesn't even look like a, a monster. I, I don't, don't know what I thought it was. It's like a little ball. Oh, jeez. Stego. Baby Stegosaurus got an arrow in the tonka. I got a shield. I guess it's actually like a magic spell. How big is this dungeon? <gasps> Uh. Uh. Oh. I don't want to leave. 
I think I screwed up that last one because I left. I think I was supposed to get some actual meaningful treasure. Oh my gosh, how big is this place? Wait a second, is it just looping? Because I've already... It's already illuminated that part. It's just looping. Maybe I was supposed to take that exit. There's an exit. Yes, this is weird, man. This thing just wraps around. Carl's little footsteps. Little baby footsteps. Uh-oh. It's this kind of sad death animation. Well, I guess we can get out of here. Uh, select. Oh, cool. Yeah, give me that X. Okay. I got the X. Uh. Oh man, that's so awkward. You can't just walk into it. You have to hit select and it just sort of like very crustily animates into it. Oh, okay, we're going. Uh, I forget which button does what. Okay, I think it's B shoots. I like these puddles, except I don't reflect in my vampire. Ooh! That guy was scary. Scary looking. Good, good sprite art in this. Good art all around. I love how this game looks. I kind of thought that guy might take more than two little arrows, but I'm gonna complain, I guess. It's like the water temple or something. The water... Wait, what would it look like from the outside? A cave? Okay, now we're looping again, aren't we? I didn't get a key yet, did I? I guess I hope I did, because it looks like I got through this whole thing. I did get a key. What am I supposed to do with that axe, anyhow? I can't... I can't select it. Well, that cave's done. Let's go to this tower. Oh, man. Not walking on skulls no more. Oh! Oh, he's too dodgy. Two shots. I got a fairy. What? what is... Well... I still have zero fairy there. I have three Carl's, zero fairy, and 37 arrows. I like the arrow situation, that seems good. I wonder if the fairy just healed me or something. Or was I a negative fairy? The graphics in this are so good looking. Super well drawn. Oh man, those wizards make a really creepy sound. Okay. Ah, now I'm a one fairy, so I must have been at negative fairies before or something. What? I don't understand. Yeah, arrows. I mean, it's a whole quiver. I just have like five quivers now. Ugh. Where is he? What's going on? Why was it making that noise when he wasn't... Oh man, you can shoot so fast. Okay. Big old rock slide here. Ow! 
Go! You wasco. They're my arrows because I said so. Not only am I an archer, I'm a thief. Um, well... Also, not sure where to go. Oh. Been through. Okay, wait. No. I thought maybe that was a fog of war there, but no. It's just the side of the screen. Hmm. Aha. Bring it. You weird wizard. I mean, the wizards, like, they don't seem to cast spells, thankfully. Uh. There's the key out. It's got to be around here somewhere. There's a big place. Yeah. Okay. It's kind of weird how if there is a treasure, it doesn't appear until you leave. Back to the skull floor. I love the skull floor. It's so good looking. I mean, I, it's a great greeny, uh, lime green. This weird little thing. Oh, I thought that was a monster on the arrows. Gosh dang. Well, I got 64 arrows. I guess I'll be okay. I killed the... I destroyed the quarrel of arrows with a... Shooting... Shooting it with a single arrow. It's pretty good shooting. Ah! Uh. Oh, okay. I don't think I hurt myself there. Like, you could do all kinds of trick shots and stuff in this if you really wanted to. I guess there's no reason to stick around unless I thought I could find more arrows. Wonder how you would how you end up getting to that one thing in the upper left of the map that's behind the forests. That's a creepy sound. The exit in the northeast. I guess is the northeast really the northeast though, since everything wraps around. Okay, it must whatever that is must be down here, right? Oh, oh no! Uh, come on! Oh, I'm hitting the wrong button. Look at the butt crack on this guy. <laughs> I mean, I, I didn't expect the crack, you know. Wait, do I am I always red? I thought I thought maybe I was blue in some of the other dungeons. Maybe I leveled up my armor to red, my little booties to red. I mean, I don't have crack. I don't know what's going on. Okay. Um. Yeah, that, that water elemental is just uh, a little more than I expected to see. See, 
This one doesn't have skulls in the floor. Which I don't like as much. I like the little skulls in the floor. Are we still gonna get another water? No, I guess that last one must not have either, because it's the same thing. I'm hitting the wrong button. Dang it. Oh. It's weird that, I mean, I take hits, but maybe that takes a fairy every time I take a hit. Maybe that's what that is. The fairy saved me. Yeah, my color changes. I guess it just depends on what stage you're in. It just conserves palette. Uh, I have a lot of arrows. I gotta keep... I gotta stop forgetting what button shoots. Wait, what? Man, I'm just carving through this country. Oh. Uh, okay, so I got hit, um, yeah, and then I got a fairy, so I'm at two fairies. I guess that makes sense, but I must have been at negative at one point. Because then I got a fairy and I was at zero. You go into a dungeon, and all you're trying to do is get a key to get out of the dungeon, which is weird. Ugh. And the death animation on those guys is really good. So now I have three fairy. That means I can take three hits or whatever, maybe. Then what happens? I don't know. Maybe it just goes negative, and you just keep going. That little move didn't work. Oh. I just need to find the exit. I love his little footsteps. Uh. Now, this is the big map. Of Takes a while to find. There we go. I have to select to get out. It's so weird. Why are they making me use select to enter and exit places? There's no need for it. Just let me use the A button. I'm not doing anything else with it, else with it when I'm trying to go into places. No reason you couldn't just use the A button. So you hear the sound, but the monsters never actually come in until you reveal them, so it's actually kind of difficult because you have to get close. Well, now all I have to do is find the exit. Special mountain. Ooh. It's cold and creepy looking. This looks like H.R. Geiger stuff. Can get Xenomorph popping out at me. Oh no, it's a Stego! Stego, they just lie down and die. Can't support their tiny little brains anymore. Oh shoot! Kill the dinosaurs! Extinctify! Gotta extinctify wizards too. What the heck is that? It changed color. That's weird. What is this? It's not picking up. Am I full on arrows? 
Oh, fire arrows, yeah! I have a feeling I shouldn't step on that. But we'll see, maybe that'll be my only way out. Oh, this rules, look at this! This is so... tough guy. <laughs> Notice how I didn't want to say... Yay! Um... Man, this is a big one. Oh, maybe I can take out a Stegosaurus in one shot now. Yeah! Watch out for rico ricochets. Re ricochets? Ricochet. 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 I mean, if, if I was good, if I was like a good pool player, I could be doing all kinds of crazy ricochet shots. Stegosaurus corner pocket. Oh man, I didn't even mean to do that. That ruled. I mean, yeah, because you can, like, if a Stegosaurus was in there. Oh, I only had the one fire arrow. Maybe two. Anyway, no more fire arrows. Come on. What are you doing? Can you not get through there? Figure it out, Stegosaurus. Maybe that's why you went to stink. You can't navigate narrow diagonal tunnels. Well, then you just get owned anyway, so... Yeah, I mean, tiny Stegosauri were not long for this world, apparently. They didn't have their giant mama around. Dude, this place is huge. Holy gosh. Uh, oh no, oh no, oh no, I'm getting out. I turned red. I think that I was out of berries, probably. Well, that's, uh, that's a serious situation. I don't know what to do about that. I can shoot faster, I think. Maybe I can find some way to bank shot at him. Or her. I don't know how many, like, respawns I get. Uh, I think I'm going the wrong way somehow. Wait, this looks like it might be it. Uh, no? Ow. Carl is lost. I hadn't been through that little connection before, but we're here, so this can't be the right way because I haven't been here. At least not from that side. Gosh dang. What? Uh oh. Uh oh. There's a glitch in the matrix. what happens if you get killed? You're just doomed to wander this featureless facsimile limbo of where you were. Maybe everybody else in the real world just sees me as a ghost. Thank <laughs> you. 
I, uh, there's got to be some smart, systematic way you would do this. Instead of just probably wandering in a weird circle like I'm doing. Gosh. Okay. No, that wasn't it. <sighs> okay, this is different. It's got to be here, right? Okay, I just got to shoot like real fast at this guy, I think. I hurt his leg. Ow! I'm yellow, I'm red, I'm gonna... Man, the, the slowdown gets wicked, so... Oh yeah, I only have one car left. So it's got to be some kind of like bank shot type of solution. Well, <sighs> I can't move faster than him, so I don't know. I don't know how I can beat him. I mean, maybe I'm not supposed to go in here because I don't have the sword. Is this the dragon? The dragon of the plot? Because if it is, I need the sword. Don't I? Maybe there's somewhere else to go in here, but... Way to go, I don't think. Wait, do I? Um. Well, this is it. Is it Carl? So they don't actually bounce that far anyway. It's not hitting it, it's just going right through and bouncing. Oh, I got him! My arrows must have been adding up over my lives. Which sort of makes sense. That's weird. That never happens in games, generally. Usually the monsters get all their health back. Or maybe I had to hit him in a certain spot? So was that the game? Did I just beat the game? There's still that one spot behind the forests. Oh. Well, thanks for telling me, uh, girl in pink. She's probably whatever the name of the girl in the intro was. Okay. Oh, man. So what do I even do with the tomahawk? I don't know how to use it. There's still this... Oh, wait. Well, I was thinking, do I use the tomahawk to chop down the... the forest? Mm. Not getting anything there. Okay, we're back to tiptoeing through dungeons. Whoa, that's it's a stingray. It's a baby sting. Ow! 
Oh no! Ah, I got set up. Oh, I'm still alive. Oh, I'm hitting the wrong button. Oh man, I need I need fairy help. It's not my cleverest hour. It's so hard to like. This stuff just happens in this. Ah, it's so close up. Wait. Like so. Just blunder into things. Uh, 47638. What's that gonna do? Oh, uh, looks like we're gonna recycle the power. 47638. Listen to two here. Okay, no, no buttons are doing anything. 47638. We will power cycle. Uh, emulation went four seven six three eight. Purple fairy. Oh, so you just keep going. Okay. And no fairies. But... No fairies, but I'm not, like, red clothing. It's so funny how your clothing color is your health meter. So... I don't really know how the fairy thing works, I guess. Maybe the fairy thing just keeps you from actually getting hurt. So you can still take, like... You take one hit, I think, and you go to yellow and then red. After you're out of fairies, maybe that's how that speaks, something like that. Oh. Don't know why it just doesn't pick things up automatically for you. Like that. That one did. I guess it wants you to know you got the key. Nice that stegosauruses are so such big targets. Stegosauri? Flying air manta ray baby. Oh. Oh. That was weird. Uh should I go from like blue to green? What if that guy stole some of my arrows or something? What happens if you run- Ah, oh, if you run out of arrows. I mean, he's just- He's right there. Uh, come on, guy. Oh. Oh yeah, right. You get the boogie shield music. Move your buns, it's gonna run out. Well... Great. Ah. Oh, it's blinking slower. Okay. Bite the dirt. Oh, what? Do I get a second axe? What the heck? Oh. Oh. Okay. So they used my axe. Well. Now I know. I don't, I'm not even sure what button I hit, though. Did I have to be in that, like, nook in that forest to start? I don't know. I think I just hit the A or the B button. What the heck? It's a mole. That was kind of cool. Ah. Oh. 
Don't run off, you've got one of my arrows in you. Can't waste that effort. Uh. Uh. Taking these darn hits. plan to like play all the way through this game but it I mean if it just kind of lets me keep going I I guess I'll just, just, just don't know how to stop oh kind of like teleported onto the quiver uh it's getting rough in here Diagonal shots. Yeah, give me a nice clean line of sight. Drop any stegosaurus. Baby stegosaurus. Hurry! Like, I'm not even sure 100% what this does. I don't have the key yet. Dang it. This stage is huge. There we go. Oh. Oh, so you just hit B. Dang it, he got me, but I got a fairy, so we're even Steven. <laughs> me? Is that a little bouncing lamb? Stop making your creepy wizard sound. I got another fairy suit. So I'm one up on fairies. Ah! Oh, it's a frog. It's a mountain goat. Billy goat. Ram. I can't quite tell. Yeah, I guess it's a ram or a goat. Two fairies. Long on fairies. Oh shoot, I only have three arrows left. Uh oh, well, this may be the end. For, uh, Carl. What happened? I had so many arrows before. They're just getting stingier with the arrow drops, I guess. Or I'm not exploring enough. Ow! Oh. oh, there go the fairies! Yeah, so that two fairies. So I was getting hurt. I was taking damage. I don't understand how this works. <gasps> no, you don't. Oh! So once the monster goes into the quiver, it's basically destroyed. That's... I'm out of arrows. Uh, I mean, I can't do nothing now because I can't kill whatever it is to get the key. Oh, okay. Ten precious arrows. Here was that wizard. Down here, you goofball. Hey. I didn't realize some fairies fly away. Dang it! Five 
Paris. Uh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe if you designed things that could have used some tweaking. Like this arrow situation's not so hot. Well, oh. ow. from here I feel like I'm stuck in one subsection of the maze to ah jeez Oh, brilliant! I don't have the key. And I almost killed myself. I killed myself. Oh, shoot. So, I still don't have a key. Put me back somewhere else. Sandy. That didn't go great. Wonder if you ever earn more Carls, but you don't really need to because you just kind of continue with the password indefinitely, although now I forgot the password. Hello. Goals. No. Continue again. Oh, 
Well, I guess I don't, like, if I die, I guess it'll have to give me a new password, right? Because the situation isn't the same as before. Ah! Uh, oh, good. Oh my gosh, this place is huge. This gets a little repetitive, you could say. Where's this water elemental? Right there! Uh, oh, it didn't last long enough to ricochet at him. He still got me. Three fairies. Oh, no. God. Wait a second, there's more flickering. I thought I fixed the flicker. Gosh dang it. Um, because you can set over scan to cut off the sides that might be flickering, but this one has more flicker than I saw originally. That sucks. Um, well, I'm not going to try to adjust that now, because you have to adjust it, because then it scales the rest of the thing in the video capture thing, and I'd be cutting off the sides a little. do that over scan thing anyway because it's annoying me it's going to probably cut off a little bit of the right hand side of the screen Oh, boy. <laughs> Wizards. Ah! Oh, dear. I mean, people thought, uh... That space, uh, like third person shooter, where you, you had the health meter on your back of your spacesuit thing. Dead space, they thought that was innovative. This guy's whole costume is his health meter. Shoot. Scrolling gets really juddery when you're going like 
Sometimes just I guess it just depends where you're at. Um Oh my goodness. Maybe I'll get an axe from here and then I can chop through that forest to the east. Oh, I didn't get shoot. Uh, a fire arrow on a mole, so I think you get two fire arrows. Oh, more than two, okay. Single shot and a stegosaurus is alright. Got all day. Aha. Take that forest. So is there gonna be a dragon in here that just whomps me? I only have two Carls and one fairy. to a dragon with this thing on, I'd probably be in good shape. Oh, that just kills it. Sweet. Rampage. Oh, it's going away. Shoot. Those things are pretty well animated. Uh, okay, so... Uh, the dragon would be up here. I'm not going to be able to kill it. I don't have enough. Oh heck! That fireball took a U-turn. I'm dead. This is weird. So I shouldn't go into any black areas because I don't... I found a way to the dragon already. Gotta get back to it. It's not it. Well, that was it. Uh. Ah, forget you. Oh, great. Oh, gee. Those are pretty 
Pretty slick fireballs that guy's got. Just hooked right into me. That's Carl. Can't go that way. Actually, there probably is a shorter way to get back. got stuck. Oh, it's like Angband. You gotta get the boss stuck on something on a piece of the wall. At least that's how I, I hear you do that in Angband. I never even got close to the boss in Angband. Take that, dragon! Oh yeah, the purple fairies come in. What do they just eat the dragon's body? <laughs> just devour the corpse? Um... Oh no. Oh no, I think I'm running out of fighting spirit. Fairy. Or that's not a fairy, that's just a girl. Ah. Uh, oh no, how do I get across the desert? I really kind of want to stop playing this game. I have zero Carls, so I guess it'll end pretty soon, probably. Is this game? I would have been happy if it had ended in that first area. That first map. Oh, that sucks. I mean, what? I, I think you move slightly faster than them, and so if you ran correctly, you could eventually get far enough away to turn and shoot without them blundering into you again. It's just frustrating, though. Not the best combat. Oh wow! This guy's got moves! Bouncing off the wall. Uh, dang it! Man, he almost killed me. I do have fairy left, so maybe I could take another hit. Maybe I'm supposed to do something with the fairies. Uh oh. Wait, so I hit him twice. Was he going to take three shots? 41096. Well, maybe I'll play this again someday, but uh, maybe not right now. Oh, yeah, you got to restart. Um, I mean, let's just see where that drops us. 41096. You got a hammer. Alright, well, if you want to start wherever this is, 41096, that is your ticket to the desert. Cool looking map, you know. I mean, really good graphics in this game. Pretty much. Uh. It does start to feel pretty repetitive in the dungeon, so... And the combat kind of sucks. I mean, it's basically made to wear you down, right? Because they know that you've got... You've got essentially infinite continues with the, the password. So... 
they don't really mind that the balance is kind of kind of not great well that is their balance their balance is you just get worn down i guess because like I, I don't know well so i got was that lucky against that last dragon or is that just what you got to do you gotta like there's probably some sort of you know exact way to to move to get them stuck on a wall like i think he was because if they don't get stuck then they just they just come at you and they're just about as fast as you they are as fast as you it's just sometimes they don't quite corner right and then they can shoot those those hookshot fireballs that'll get you from just about anywhere so that's but then the damage they take seems to add up um even if you you know if you even if they kill you they still have that damage that you inflicted i think when you get back to them that's how it seemed well it's kind of a cool game it's certainly unlike any other you know action rpg adventure whatever that i've played maybe there's a reason why other games didn't really follow this thing's um template but uh it's kind of cool I mean, it almost feels like a roguelike. Like, you could make a roguelike that looked exactly like this. Because those dungeons sure feel pretty generic. Actually, you could make a roguelike that was probably a little better because I think the dungeons, you could make them have a little more layout variety. Uh... Yeah, I mean, the whole dungeon thing is weird, because you just go in and just you're just looking for a key to get out, and then then once you're out, you find if you got a treasure or not, and so far the only treasures have been, uh, you know, axes or whatever it calls them to uh, chop down forests to, to move on. Oh, but now I get this one, it's not a... I think it's a hammer instead of an axe, because there's like that weird... What is that, like a ruined gate or something in the upper left? You probably have to use a hammer to bash your way through. Kind of cool music. Yeah, I wouldn't say this is my favorite game, but it's certainly kind of cool anyway. But, um... Yeah, I don't really want to keep playing. <laughs> I don't feel like there's anything really more to see. There's probably a couple of things, but... Man. It, uh... It's a bit of a slog. Okay, well, so that was, uh... That was Dragon Buster 2. Uh, thanks for checking it out with me. And, um... Yes, I'll see you later. So this was a ROM that I extracted from the uh, Namco Museum Archives Volume 2 from Steam. I have now recorded sessions with three of those. I think there's 11 total, and I've also picked up some of their related arcade uh, brethren, which I will probably be playing uh, along with them. I mean, in, in separate episodes, I think, but... Uh, but yeah, so, uh, like the next game, um, from the, the archive, there's an NES version, or maybe it's probably the Famicom version, and then there's a, uh, there's an arcade version, which I also, wait, but yeah, that one I extracted from something else from Steam. So, uh, so cool, uh, yeah, anyway, it's a lot, lots more weird Namco NES games and a few arcade games related to them to go. That's it for now, though. See you uh, later. I was just thinking there is a prequel, an arcade prequel to the next NES game in the archive that I could get and play first, but 
I don't really like that game. I don't really want to get that game. Nah, we, we can skip that one. Um, okay, uh, that's it. See you later.